Hi, my name is David Ong, and today I'll show you a piece of magic about how great 2020 has been. So, 2020, what a great year, right? Ha <laughs> ha, no. We were in the middle of bushfires, had floods, and then the whole world tried to hit the pause button on us humans. But most of us adapted and did the right thing in order to keep moving forward. Whereas uh, some other people, um, well, let's not go there. So you might be asking me, David, yes, my one subscriber. Magic about 2020 seems a little cheesy and silly. To which I would reply, you're right, but I like being silly. And uh, cheesiness and magic shouldn't go together, but unfortunately it does sometimes. But hopefully this is not one of those times. On to the magic. I looked up words that people use to describe 2020. And one of the four letter family friendly words that people used were lost. We all lost something in 2020. Be it our friends and family that we loved, opportunities that we had lined up, holidays we had planned, or our jobs and career. We lost the whole year in 2020. So what do we have to look forward to in 2021? Some hold on to hope, focus on faith, latch onto love. Faith, hope and love abide, but the greatest of these is love. Love encompasses all. Without love, we'd be nothing, we'd gain nothing. Love endures. In fact, love never fails. So let's love one another as we head into 2021. And if you're wondering how you can love your neighbor, all you gotta do is uh, look in the mirror and think about how you could love yourself and apply that to others. Happy New Year, my friends. Hit that like button if you found that silly or cheesy. Let me know in the comments what you look forward to in 2021. And if you were born in January, hit that subscribe button because I plan to do more videos. I'm David Ong. Until next time, have a magical day.